Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5. Thought I'd do a video on my luggage. Uh, this is kind of a pseudo review. I think the Maxpedition luggage on the uh, left is gonna be discontinued here soon. It's, I think it's on its final sale. And the luggage on the right is kind of one of those overstock uh, thrift store, you know, uh, they just get what doesn't sell in the legitimate stores and they resell it for a discounted price. And so, I'm not very familiar with the brand. It says it's proudly designed in Italy, but made in China, I think. Uh, I notice that a lot. Do I have, you have something that says it's proudly designed in Italy. I've had a few of those items before. Anywho, I thought I'd talk about some, some of the things I learned on my first uh, intercontinental trip. I left the U.S. continent, went to Maui, and uh, there were some things that I learned. I don't know if the audio is going to pick up when I go out to the luggage. And this, I'm actually testing a um, cell phone mount for a tripod. And so it's kind of killing two boards with one stone. I'm reviewing or talking about product and I'm testing product at the same time. Um, and it's kind of lopsided. Anyways, let's get started. This is the tactical roll on. This is a Mia Turo, Turo. and uh, one thing that I learned when I left the continent for uh, about four or five days, I can't remember how long, uh, off the top of my head, is that this ability to do this is awesome. This has two fixed wheels. You're only carrying it this way. You can't roll it sideways like this. Those of you who have ever flown, airports are very cramped, and uh, airplanes are very cramped, and just having the ability to roll it like this um, straight in front of you, not uh, not out like this, because if you're if you're crawling your luggage this way, you're taking up a lot of space, and you're running into people, you're bumping into people, you're bumping into things. Uh, have the ability to have your luggage right beside you close to your body and then roll freely in that direction with caster wheels is just amazing and uh, although I'm going to continue using this until it breaks down on me as soon as this breaks down on me I want to replace it with something better or something that can roll 360 degrees in any direction um, also I'm kind of digging the um, uh, pearled shell uh, suitcases or luggage uh, it just, I don't know, I like it a little bit better. Uh, this has the ability to stretch and compact and uh, push down, but it doesn't seem like it's as rugged as solid shell. Something I forgot to mention is that when you have a hard case uh, luggage, it allows you to bring your fragile things home with you, like this ukulele. This ukulele is very expensive. I would have been crushed if something would have crushed it during transit. So this allows you to bring stuff like uh, shot glasses or glasses in general, um, ukuleles, instruments, um, anything that's breakable, a hard case luggage or hard shell luggage will allow you to bring it home safely and uh, in one piece. And I wanted to point that out. And uh, also I recommend if you're uh, going to fly on any regular basis, try to get a, a piece of luggage that stands out. Uh, this one has this brushed copper look to it. I don't know how else to describe it. Kind of a dirty penny, but it has lines on it. Um, see if you can pick that up on the camera. And it has this um, Italian flag logo on it. Um, uh, this is very visible at baggage claim. In fact, I lost my um, ID tag on this uh, during the flight or during transportation and this was so unique as opposed to the mountains and sea, seas worth of black suitcases that I could spot this without the, my ID tag on it. I could say, yep, that one's mine, pick it up with full confidence that my stuff is in here because I'm not grabbing someone else's luggage. So that is something that I really appreciated. Although black is very fashionable, it goes with just about everything and it's very, adds stuff uh, and it looks very professional. This is very visible and it's easy for me to spot when at the uh, baggage carry-off or uh, baggage claim. 
Something cool about Max Expedition, though, is you have this big old patch of Velcro hook and loop, and you can put a morale patch on it. And I've thought about putting a morale patch on it just for the sake of having an extra identifier on it. Although I'm not generally going to uh, check this luggage, uh, it would just be nice to have something on there that makes it unique to me. Um, and as you can see, you know, it's pretty smooth, uh, you know, telescope uh, handle. This has several different uh, grabbing points right here. Uh, so it's not a bad luggage. It's just that uh, after having something that spins 360 degrees with these caster wheels, it's hard to say, it's hard for me to say that this is a good buy or it's a very convenient luggage. This definitely has a lot more um, organization on it. It has a lot more organization. In fact, um, you can access it from the top and you have a closed divider. This is a separate compartment right here that I usually keep my shoes, like my dress shoes. Um, and then you have you like your, uh, uh, what you call it, I don't know if I'm even in frame. Uh, you also have your uh, uh, shaving accessories or uh, uh, toiletry section if you want to keep, like a, use this as an overnight bag, keep your uh, dock kit in here. So it's not bad, it's just in an airport, this is much more convenient. And I guess I'll open this up too. This also has, um, a thing that you can unzip to expand it and then you can zip it back to compress it again. And those of you who want to know what this looks like, this is what it looks like on the inside. But uh, yeah, you have your uh, uh, clothes separators if you want to separate your dirty and clean laundry. Have some uh, things that you can cinch down. So, uh, and you also have this, uh, I guess to, uh, you know, cinch something down like a jacket or something. But overall, that's what I learned on my uh, uh, travels to Maui, is that um, I really like castor wheels. And I encourage you, if you're going to fly, especially on a regular basis, to have something that you can roll in this direction and keep your profile very thin. It's just very convenient, very comfortable, and it makes life easier. So that's it. I'm a Sapsi 5, and I'm out.